everyone, it's Marie here from Peppley Rose Paper Crafting. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to be making a card that was requested by one of my followers on Facebook, on my Peppley Rose Paper Crafting Facebook page. Um, if you'd like to go past there, you can uh, click on the link below this description of this video. Um, basically, she had asked to for me to um, make a tutorial uh, regarding tween um, boy cards. Now, I don't know about you, but I tend to find making cards, masculine cards, but particularly for boys between the age groups of 10, you know, the teenage years and just prior to the teenage years, a little bit hard. <laughs> um, it's a bit of a challenge for me at times. And um, I had to ask my son, who's 12 and, and in that age group, what kind of cards he thinks that um, his age group likes. And a lot of the time he brought up things like sport, um, gaming and things like that. And so what got me thinking was he, he loves playing games. So he owns a Nintendo Switch uh, Lite console. And um, this is the inspiration for my card. And I thought, why don't I recreate the Nintendo Switch console into uh, and put it on a card. So I thought it would be a fun thing to do. And um, you're probably seeing all these stamp sets, but I'm just going to use one little element out of each. So the first thing I'm going to be using is the Garage Gears. And I'll be using this die because it cuts out little holes and they're the perfect size for what I'm after. So I'm going to be using these dies for the little holes. And these will make up these four here and one here as well. I'm using a retired punch, unfortunately, but it's the half inch circle punch. This is perfect for the size that I'm after for this card. I'm using the brick and mortar 3D embossing folder because having a brick wall is really cool as far as I'm concerned for tween cards. It's very versatile as well. And as well, for older men who like gaming, I think they will like this card too. So... Anyway, I'm using the Painted Poppies. Now, I know this is a feminine kind of a stamp set. However, I'm going to use that little splotch there and these little splatters um, as part of the deal there. Um, I'm using the Mountain Air stamp set. I'm going to use the circle of this one, the, the uh, filled-in circle. And I'm using the Happy Birthday Sentiment in the Blossoms in Bloom stamp set. So... Without further ado, we'll start the card. <laughs> um, the first thing, I'm using Poppy Parade. Um, this is half an A4, and I've scored it in half again to make an A6 card base. So I'll just uh, fold and burnish the score line with you. So there's lots of little bits and pieces and lots of little measurements, so be warned. <laughs> um, and then I've got... Uh, piece of just regular whisper white cardstock that layers over the top to make the console um, this is a piece of basic gray because I'm going to match up the console here um, and that measures two and a quarter by four inches there's going to be a black piece as well that measures one and three quarters by two and a half and then I've got a piece of Whisper White, which will layer on top of that, which is one and five eighths by two and three eighths. Then <laughs> I've punched out one um, half inch circle out of Smoky Slate. So I'm going to punch the other one with you now. Whoops. So now you need two of those. Okay. And you keep this little scrappy piece of paper because I'm going to cut out the four circles that I'm after. Then, these are really super tiny pieces of cardstock right here. So I'm just going to lay them on here. You will need one piece, literally one eighth inch by one eighth inch, <laughs> really tiny, square. Then you will need one sixteenth of an inch by half an inch, two of those to make a little... A little cross there which is what you'll find on the top of that console there then um, for this uh, the arrows there 
you will need a 1 8 by 3 quarters of an inch on uh, two of those. So, yep, yeah, so that will make you two little cross arrows thingies on the console. And um, also, what you will need is you can grab the 1 16th there inch, very tiny, and you just need a tiny little strip. I'll just grab a pair of scissors. Just a one teeny tiny piece that goes up the top there, if you can see that right there. So I'm just going to cut, I don't know, maybe half an inch or so. It's, it's not going to be exact. So I'll just cut it off with a pair of scissors. And that is all you'll need to, to put that on top of that. So we're talking in tiny little measurements, but totally worth it. Pardon me, excuse me. <laughs> so what we will do now is with this piece of cardstock here, the layering piece, we're just going to do some stamping. So I've got a, a scrap piece of paper here. So I'm going to use some Poppy Parade and we're just going to stamp. So I'm going to stamp off because I don't want it that dark and then I'll just stamp like that. Stamp off and go like that and then I'm going to stamp off twice and go like that and I'll stamp off twice again and go like that. So when I put my console around here it'll just provide a little fun background um, and actually we stamped off twice there why don't we stamp off here and here as well just to fill up that space just splotches and then um, with basic grey I'm going to use that splatter image from the poppy parade this one here and we're just going to do some splotches so I'll just do one two like that kind of make it look grungy and like that and I think that looks pretty cool And then on this little tiny piece here, the one that goes at the front, we're going to grab the basic grey and I'm going to recreate the circles on the fr front here. So I'm just going to grab the basic grey ink pad and I'll just start stamping all over the page. Whoops. And okay, that will do me. Um, and that will go on the front of the card. Whoops, where is that? And then what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to stamp the happy birthday sentiment from the Blossoms in Bloom stamp set, that one over here, and I'm going to use um, Memento Tuxedo Black ink for that. So I'll just ink this up. And I will um, stamp this in the middle. And that's ready now so I'll bring that close up so you can have a look so that's all done and then what I'm going to do with that front panel over here is I'm going to emboss it with the brick and mortar 3d embossing folder so I'll just grab that very quickly and we will emboss that So I'll just pop that in the middle there. And that will just give it a cool textured background. So I'll just bring up my die cutting machine. And I'll get that 3D embossing plate and pop that over the top and run that through. just see this embossed now. 
and that is just a cool texture I love that so I pop that over to the side we'll keep out the uh, die cutting machine because we're going to do some die cutting so what I'm going to bring out now is the where is it garage gears dies I'm going to use this one over here and I'm going to cut out those four circles that I'm after so I'll bring my scrappy piece here of some um, smoky slate now I don't have to cut out the whole thing which is great all I'm after is just those little circles there in the middle so pop that over here and you just need the smaller scraps Let's bring that all together so I don't cut out the wrong things and that's all I'm after just those four little circles Make sure I've got them properly. And poke those out. And there we have those four little circles. These are perfect. And then we're going to cut one more circle. And I'm going to cut a slightly smaller one, I think. So I'll just cut this and get rid of that. Um, let me see which size. I think they're a similar size, so I'll just cut one more from that one. So you need five of those. So I'll just put that through. And so that will now cut. That has cut the one. I'll just take out the rest of that from the die. Oops. And there we go. We have that one little circle there. So you'll need five of those. So we can get rid of our die cutting machine now. Just get everything together. So this will be a really fun card. Um, I haven't done one like this for a very long time. And normally I use my silhouette machine, but I thought it would be fun to try something a little different. So what we'll do with this is we'll stick this to the front of the card and I'll just get some glue. So I'll just, just add some glue on the edges. I like using liquid glue with a dimensional panels. So I'll pop that here. And with the basic uh, grey piece, I'm going to get my corner rounder and I'm going to round the corners on all four sides. So I'll punch that out. So that's all cut out. So it's starting to look like it's coming together. And now I'm going to glue um, these two pieces together like so. And as you can see here, there's kind of like a black border around that piece. So I'm going to now glue that down. I've got the measurements on the back, but no one's going to know that. And just put that like that that on the back layer it on like that and then put that away for now and I'll just add that to the middle of that console there so I'll glue that down I hope you have enjoying this um, tutorial 
All of the products that you've seen today can be purchased through my online store at pepperyrosepapercrafting.stampinup.net. If you have any questions or you would like to contact me for any reason at all, you may do so through my online store. And the address is pepperyrosepapercrafting.stampinup.net. And I'll be more than happy to get back to you. All right, so we'll start... Uh, laying out all the bits and pieces so these are quite small just give me one moment I need to pick up to get my pick me up tool because these pieces are very very tiny so just bear with me for a second okay so I've got my little pick me up tool you can use the Stampin' Up take your pick tool um, a funny story with this one I bought this about a week or two before just before Stampin' Up released theirs <laughs> so you know I'm not going to buy another one um, since I had already bought this it'll be a bit of a waste but had I not known about it um, had I known about it I wouldn't have bought it so there you go all right so with this now we're going to do a mock layout and I'll be using this as a guide so I'm going to put the tiny cross up here so I'll just grab that those tiny tiny pieces And I'm actually going to um, take a little bit of glue, just put it in the middle. Just a tiny blob of glue. Oh, there we go. Because <clears throat> it's so tiny, it's, um, it's a bit tricky. So now I'm going to put this on top. This is very very tiny so you have to have a little bit of patience with this there we go so that's one there I'm going to use my tweezers and I'll just put that up here like in that one and towards there I'll add the little half inch circle around about here and I'll lay these circles hmm. uh. Oops. So I'm just doing a mock layout at the moment just to make sure that I position these as close as possible to the original. And then we have one here. Have that up here. Have this little bit there. It's very tricky because these are so small. Actually, no, that one goes here. I'll put mine towards the bottom there. This, uh, this square goes here, and these two here will have to um, add some glue and make the cross to make the arrows. I find tweezers very helpful because fine work is a little bit difficult for me. And... There we go. I'll put that over here. So I think it's pretty close to this, if you can see the two there. So I'll just stick these down where they are. So grab some glue and that goes up there. This goes there. goes here and 
and I'll just straighten that up to make it a little bit more yeah that's better and then that one goes down here that one goes up here whoops Okay, now yeah. this one will go up here. This one will go there. So I'm going to go there. And that one will go down the bottom there. Just spread them out a little bit, just a tad. And then like that, perfect. Then I'll put this here. And then with this circle down here, I just realized that that cut off a little bit there. So I'm just going to cut it again off camera and then I'll be back. I've just cut another one. And what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to stick that now down the bottom here. It's just down the bottom here. It's like the home button or something like that. And there we go. So now my console is complete. <laughs> um, it's not exactly the same, but I think it's I've done a pretty good job with that. So there's the original, and here's the console there. That's a little bit crooked, but too late now. <laughs> I might try and pick it off, actually. Why not? Let's see. Just grab this and hope I don't make it. No, I'll just leave it stuck down, but do it straighter than me. All right, so now what we'll do is we will grab our card base and we're just going to stick it at an angle like that. And I think that makes a really cool tween card. So those boys or girls even that like this kind of stuff will appreciate this very much, especially, yeah, my, my son loves his, so there we go. All right, so I'm just going to add now some dimensionals. And one more there in the middle and we're done so I'll just take off the backings I hope you like today's tutorial um, something very different so it's like a punch art kind of um, Nintendo switch light console perfect for boys or men that like this as well why not so much fun and we're using sets that are not really geared for this. So that's what makes it extra cool in my opinion. So I'll just stick this at an angle like that. Let's see a little bit more like that. And that's my finished card for today. Isn't that cool? So there's a little bit of prep work involved, but it's so worth it. And look, I hope you um, can get extra uses out of these stamp sets. So the Mountain Air, Painted Poppies, Blossoms in bloom. I mean, this is floral, and yet that um, that font is really cool um, for sentiments you can put on anywhere, including masculine cards. Why not? And that's a feminine set. Um, the brick and mortar, I think, is a must. Um, this can be used both for feminine and for masculine cards. And uh, these geared up garage, you can use these little circles for your punch art. They're really cool. And also the gears are cute as. I love them. So thank you all so much for persevering with this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, if you know of anyone that will like this kind of thing, please don't hesitate to share my tutorial around. And, um, and if you haven't subscribed, I hope you do so and like. Thank you all so much for watching. And I can't wait to see you again next time. Bye for now.